Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video. Most of interviews that I conducted myself or I've been interviewed, I face this question, how to take a backup of a PLC? My name is Noman and you are watching IT and Automation Academy's YouTube channel. Hello and welcome to another session. Today we are going to talk about how to take a backup from SLC 500 Allen Bradley PLC. You can see in the diagram we have SLC 500 PLC. Its IP address is 10.0.0.5 and it's connected through Ethernet Hub to our PC where we have a programming software RS Link and RS Logic 500 which is used to program SLC 500 PLC. First of all, we have to make a connection. You can see in the diagram, we have SLC 500 connected to the Ethernet hub. And that Ethernet hub is connected to our PC. So we have an Ethernet cable connected to that Ethernet hub, or you can say a switch. And from there on, we have another Ethernet cable that is connected to our PC. Now I will show you the real PLC hardware and how it's connected to Ethernet hub. In the diagram, you can see this is the Ethernet hub. We will connect our laptop to that particular Ethernet hub to connect to SLC 500 PLC. After making the desired connections, we are now ready to take a backup from the PLC. If you have watched our video about how to take a backup of Siemens PLC then you might be aware that our PLC and our system, our computer that is connected to that PLC should be on a same network in order to communicate to that PLC. For that we have to change IP settings on our system first. For that all you have to do is go to local area network connections. For sure you have to select on IPv4 and then you have to set up IP as you can see in the diagram. So the IP address of our PLC is 10.0.0.5. So we are going to set up IP address 10.0.0.99 which is having a same network ID and then select OK. Now your system is on the same network as of a PLC. Now it's easy to talk to that PLC. Let's go and talk to that PLC. We have to ping and test the connection. So we are pinging that 10.0.0.5, which is IP address of a PLC. As you can see, the ping result is positive. That shows our PLC is now connected to, to our system. Now is the time to open up RS Link software. Click on Browse and then configure drivers refresh it out if possible and then select ethernet devices because our plc is on ethernet protocol so we will just define a new plc add new here you have to define the ip address of a plc which is 10.0.0.5 close it out now you can see here we have our plc already shown up here just go to browse network here you can see the target PLC is already there. Now we have to open up RS Logic 500 software. Go to the tools, options, system communication. Just select on who's active option here. Now we will connect PLC through RS Logic via Ethernet IP driver. Just select on that and click OK. Now just upload here. So it will upload the data from PLC to that software. It will upload the data from PLC to RS Logic 500 Pro software. Now it's reading all the program from that PLC. It's loading it to RS Logic 500 software. Now we have a program already here. So you can go online and test it out. So all we have to do is we are not going to talk about in detail about that. We are just going to save that file first of all. Name it any name you want. We are going to name it line 2.4.18. Any name you can just select on yes. Now it's uploading that program. So we have read the PLC program and saved it. This is all about how you can take a backup from Alan Bradley 
SLC 500 PLC. I hope you liked today's video. If you like it, don't hesitate to like the video because it will motivate us to make new content for you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Till next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.